What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire to the War Let's Play as the Italian States. So to round off up and last time, uh, we are continuing to push the Ottomans out of the Balkans and this time it's a very specific battle hoping to knock the last Ottoman force out of Bulgaria. So without further ado, let's crack on. We are noticing a significant qualitative decline in their forces so in order to get troops on the field they are resorting to recruiting lots of mob units which is good it bodes well for our push north our push north on our overall strategic surrounding of the swedish empire so right now the ottomans aren't as much of a threat um realistically if i build up my navy a bit more i could just bottle them up pretty much permanently and then I won't have to worry about them at all I can focus on my European conquest which would be pretty good I think fairly normal offensive battle um, I'm not going to hang around so I've got my ha artillery my field artillery on a on a raised position firing over my line I've got my howitzers behind me cover on the flanks general in the center and my line pushed up so how it says start to focus on clearing out some of this cavalry field artillery you're more than welcome to focus on those 24 pounder howitzers. Actually, one set of artillery per howitzer team, please. We're gonna get our first cavalry engagement on the right flank. We've managed to knock out one of the howitzer teams. Let's throw these men into the into the cavalry combat. devastating quick climb hit there fortunately i do have some quite good cavalry units in here their skirmish cavalry is going to get knocked out our infantry is going to be quite a nice little tide turner realistically skirmishes have been pushed back get these men up on top of the hill if they desire to charge us they are more than welcome some semite janissaries down here oh, my light hussars are un they're unhappy at these Delhi horsemen my heavy cavalry will chop their way through pick my quick climb targets strategically you guys engage the summit you guys engage them as well let's pivot you guys so you don't fire into your own lines so much the irregulars have been pushed off of the hill let's push out my elites the bashi bazooks are attempting to come around to the rear my cavalry is in a bad position so my light cavalry have been pushed back by the delhi horsemen through uh, through their carbine fire
push my line up. Janissaries have been forced back. Realistically try and get whatever unit, whatever heavy cavalry I can get back into position. Or up here at least. I don't like this horseman unit being free on the flank. Okay, you guys... Okay, you guys actually might fall back. I'm going to bring a howitzer to bear against that irregular unit. I didn't want to push them up like this because they could see these bashi bazooks ready to, to jump in. Whatever heavy cavalry I've got, you need to go hit these cavalry that's uh, sat behind our lines. Absolutely. We're going to gun down these Mamelukes as they trot around in front of our line. There we go. We've caught up with them. They've got one last mass charging effort. The Mamelukes are having a Pretty torrid time. Changed artillery targets to engage the left flank. Swiss guards want to give chase. But you men hold steady. Bring heavy cavalry up here in a position in a position to potentially attack and destroy Ooh, friendly fire quick climb. Engage those seminies sat behind their bunker. Same with my foot artillery really. My marines are on a mission. Let's advance. Advance up to the Semini. There they are, sat behind there. Yeah, filthy, filthy weasels fighting their war from their barricades. Meanwhile, when our men use the barricades, splendid fellows, brave heroes. 18 pounders are still in commission, eh? Oh, there they are. Okay, let's just start to uh, move the left flank up into position. Janissaries look like they're going to suffer for their indecision. Yeah, I'm, uh, these guys are right where I want them. They're on the flank so they can fire around the cover. What is necessary? Not, not bothered about all these guys fleeing. Field artillery engage the general's bodyguard. My general's not busy. May as well chase down some of these fellas. My heavy cavalry going after their general and his staff. Very elite cavalry. There you go. The Semnies have given up their position behind the barricades. And they shall not be long for this world. 
They say they're steady. Now they're wavering. Okay, let's stop. Stop my uh, howitzers from engaging. Enemy general's been killed. Let's just set one man to go chase after these. <coughs> oh well, that's the end of that. But that's gone quite well. Hopefully we push them north across the river. Yes, perfect. That's exactly where we wanted them. You men, replenish yourselves. You guys... You can leave Bulgaria, correct? You can. You're going to take your position Avanti. here. If they come from the west, that's okay. Let's upgrade the mine. Let's upgrade the roads. Really, I need to make a bit of a better job at doing that. Good. I'm going to keep these guys where they are for now in case the Ottomans try anything tricky. Check on the construction. Morocco's got a good port. Commercial base and global trading company. Lots of lots of military upgrades. Don't worry. We are going to come after you, Gibraltar. That's why I've got this navy Another sat here. It stops them from going south and taking Tangier. They don't have the strength to go after Lisbon. Even though Lisbon has no actual men to stop them. So let's pick up pick up some commoner garden troops. Well, <laughs> that many troops. Good. Good stuff. And I'm happy with leaving all these Swedish troops here. Because at least they can't they can't impact the war in Europe so much. Got my eye on you, Nelson. Protector of Mysore. Yeah, don't worry. I'm not going to worry about fighting in India yet. Considering when we fight against the Indians, we're also fighting against most of North North America as well. So that's going to be great fun. Got an army sat here, waiting to jump over and take out the Swedes. Got this navy that's going to sail over here and block the strait. Well, this other navy here that needs an admiral. They can sail out and block, or get ready to block in these fleets. Yeah, ultimately, I think I am going to take. I probably am going to take both of these settlements, but only once I've pushed up the Carpathian Mountains, taken Serbia, Transylvania. I'm starting to push on Moldavia. Once I can use the geography to really limit the amount of ways that the Ottomans can interfere with my plans, that's when I'll move in. So you're going to continue recruiting because I do want you guys to push into Ankara because that would be a good, quite a good capture, actually. Spain, Central Italy. Ah, uh, yes. One of our true Roman generals. Although I can't recruit anything for, for him, sadly. Okay, let's head in turn. Comes our last agents. Moving up. They're getting a good visibility on what's going on in the Ottoman countryside. The Prussians are gathering their strength once more. Hopefully for a push eastward. To try and capture the former Austrian capital. Yeah, oh, they're going to go clear out the port. <laughs> so where are you going to go? Not going to intercept. Intercept. <laughs> May as well intercept. I had overwhelming force. I lost one of my ships, which is kind of a bummer, but I don't really know what kind of ship it was. Yep, yeah, you can't push across the river. And you're going to have to start to rebalance your forces. 
because now all those troops that are down in Transylvania and Serbia, they've suddenly got uh, Italian troops on their on their uh, their western flank to deal with. Come the new Spaniards, our comrades. Knights of St John are fought, fighting the British. Good. Okay, so there's been some farmland raids. You can push up and actually capture the crossing. You're in good. You're in a good place. You're being upgraded. Let's go check our construction. Yeah, you come down from the north. Okay, what I'm going to do is do this. Box them in. Because... You can march down to about here. You need four infantry, don't you? Have four infantry. Angelo Fierro. You've got a fresh army, unbloodied. Your job is to re re-establish our territory territorial integrity let's upgrade some of these ports let's take what unit do they send semini send those guys around to take him out we lost four men <laughs> i dare not take all of them out no can't take all of those men out but if I leave them there, no, I don't, well, realistically, I don't want them to send a, I don't want them to send troops down here. Question is, though, this is kind of asking for it. I mean, they don't like us, but they're not going to rebel. They're only minus one on public order. It takes minus three for them to raid, for them to rebel. Because what the first turn they strike, second turn they break something, third turn they rebel. But looks like you. What's probably going to happen? This army's going to hit, attack this guy, then move on to hit Belgrade. Or do I get you to sit Lacey's to Belgrade, my reinforcing army that's just infantry, swarm over these guys and take them out? Because then when these guys are besieged, they can't support that fight. But then again, then they might route in a funny direction. Hmm. Some good recruitment. Just want to check in my next. I feared I might have had... Okay, good. You are going... Okay, you're... No, don't go to Jerusalem. You're going to Baghdad. Go up to Anatolia. You're definitely not going to convert them, but it's worth a try. Like, we are managing to convert people in Palestine. And if that's the case, then I probably want to push my spy up towards... Go on a long walk up to Crimea, I think. Same with here, really. I don't necessarily need that visibility near in these territories if I've got my priests doing their noble work. Hmm. Do we need a dockyard here? No, I've already got... I've got a dockyard down here, so I don't really need... You're not needed. You become a trade port. Let's pick up two units of Militia to occupy the ports. I think you've got to hit them. Oh, dare I risk an auto resolve? Let's try it. Good, we only lost 500 men. So you've been pushed back. And this is why I've got my reinforcing column behind. So then. Some of these units can combine. Keep their experience high. Good. 
good. Then you can fall back. So how many men do you need? Two units of infantry. There we go. Then we've got Belgrade. I think I am going to fight Belgrade, but what I want to do is... Realistically, oh, no, I don't need two armies over here, really. They're not good troops. First of all, put Vienna under siege. I am going to fight the battle for Belgrade. I'm probably going to take Mario Torricelli out of here. Nope, you are actually unhappy with me. Industrialization is going to get worse, but I'm hoping the church school will help convert. I mean, it's unfortunate that they do have a uh, imam over here, but I'm hoping if I upgrade the the, uh, the uh, school, the religious school enough, it won't matter. But Michel Contarini, let's go and attack the garrison here in Serbia. Let's start to really push the. Uh, the Ottoman front line northward out of the Balkans and into well towards the Russian heartland I, I would imagine that's that direction of travel oh, this is lovely ground as well okay artillery elevated position engage targets at will Got a brigade on the right. Got a brigade on the left. I've got my howitzers ready to rock and roll. My cavalry is a bit depleted, so I need to be a bit careful with them. Man, they've got they, they've got um, shrapnel sharp. And quick line. So we need to be pretty rapid when it comes to our advance. There we go, 64 pounders are gone. So focus on your, collectively focus on your next target. Although their right flank is really exposed. So you guys open up and engage. Enforcement. Yeah, it's almost like sometimes we seem to get artificial sound bugs. Let's keep a cover unit matching where these horsemen are going. Drop into square, swing a cavalry unit around to intercept, push up our main line. Nope. Don't deploy funny. There we go. And swing down from the north. You guys pushed, hit the irregulars. Janissaries aren't so tough, especially with danger close quickline. Holy hell. These guys are going to help 
knock out the... Okay, I don't really know where to aim my... How is this? Okay, good. Your job. Knock out the guns. You guys go smash into these Muslim. You guys get into square because you're against the uber Delhi horsemen. Who cannot be stopped, will not be stopped. Good stuff. You guys just reload. Reload and engage. Make these irregulars break. Good. And suddenly, we can push up some of our troops to form a, uh, a proper front line. Set this Pandora, you intercept those gunners, and you intercept those gunners. Everyone else needs a clean path. Shattered. Okay, they're only broken and they might come back. goes up to bear. This cavalry unit needs to run. You're still doing good work there. You guys need to nail it around the flank because I see those quick lime shells coming in. And that also means I see you Don't route through the spikes, you damn fools. The second regiment of horse is going to cut these irregulars down to size. Good stuff. Obviously, there's a skirmisher unit that's behind our lines and is still in good nick. Muslim unit. He's going to push up. Our artillery is now fairly useless. There we go. That our cavalry deal with them. Yep, you're still here, aren't you, skirmishers? The second regiment of dragoons has got something to say to you guys. And it, sta it rhymes with stabby stabby times. Aha! They've moved! They, they are some kind of shapeshifters. Okay, let's push you guys up. Cavalry has to do a bit of a dance to get through the defences. Get through it, they shall. Oh, 
as our volleys go in. No, oh, the spikes! Good, they're routing away from the spikes. Good, our oh, rolling volleys are in. Could move up our artillery, but it's kind of moot now. There's no point in moving them. These Janissaries are about to march into uh, into range. Oh, no, they're not. Push my infantry up. Some of our misses are actually doing good damage against the Semini to the rear. Hear a charge? Someone was charging. No, oh, it's the Semini. They're pushing over. Oh, the Semini, the Mamelukes. Although they can't really afford to do anything else. She goes into the Mamluks, probably going to do some damage to our own guys in square, but at least we won't do too much damage. There we go. There we go. Surround the Janissaries. Now they're fighting in all directions. broke. And these guys push on into the Mamelukes. Yeah, they might be winning slightly, but their numbers are going down fast and they have no hope of reprieve. Good stuff. Some of our most elite troops surrounds them. Some of the men that have been with us since the start. Men that have not let us let us down. Some of our units are very depleted now. They're going to uh, not gonna. They're not going to have that same level of experience. Uh, once they've been replenished. So technically, uh, we have won this campaign, but I want to go on and do world domination. Chiefly because uh, I find it to be quite a fun challenge. Oh, look at that unit. If I could keep that unit high experience. Oh, damn. Okay, but I think the uh, end game is going to be merging some of our most experienced regiments together in order to try and maintain that high level of efficiency. Although, we can now take in three units of infantry, so let's take our three most experienced I'm units over to Serbia. Prepare this government building. Let's upgrade you to a church school. You men can actually stay where you are because you have to hold the 
both the bridges and let's upgrade the roads upgrade the mine and then upgrade you to a craft workshop good stuff because that's actually quite a uh well we've got quite a large amount of the front covered you need one infantry unit which you will get from here although you can't leave sarajevo yet Servo vostro, signore. So what I've got, so my ideas for what this guy might be used for is to do a naval amphibious, amphibious operation to hit Crimea. Might be a good idea, I think. Might even want to start landing troops from Sweden down into northern, this northern, uh, northern shore. In which case then, let's take... Just gem just recruit just a general's bodyguard for now. I'm not going to be crazy recru recruiting troops. Not in a single turn. Let's get two cuirassier and a unit of Lancer Guards. Get some get some field artillery, get some Do you have twenty four pounders? We do have twenty four pounders, I'm sure, yeah. And pick up two units of marines and you can start recruiting an army like an army to go hit Crimea and then now I would like more more troops to land um, in northern Russia well northern Europe not northern Russia just allied with Sweden so there's no risk of Sweden expanding and taking this territory but I would love to have them bottled up um, but another thing I would like to do is take Gianfranco Adorno Assault the city of... Actually, I'm not even... Because hmm, that's not really an assaulting type army. Can I just take it? No. <laughs> Sadly not. Um, but, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the destruction of the Vienna garrison and the capture of, I think it's the last Ottoman major city on the European continent. Cheers, everyone. Well, the European geographic continent, not the theatre in the game. <laughs> Radio. Cheers, everyone. Hope you've enjoyed.